Good day and welcome back to chemistry videos. Today we need to talk about uh, HBr addition to conjugated dienes. So let's talk about that. All right, in this case, you can certainly use HBr, which is what we're gonna use, but you could broaden that out to HX, where X is definitely a CL or a BR. Doing this with I is a little bit tougher and takes a different set of conditions, okay? We're gonna start off with a conjugated diene, and we almost always start off with the same conjugated diene, which is 1,3-butadiene. The reason why we like butadiene so much is because it really clearly demonstrates what uh, the different products are. You can certainly do this with any conjugated diene, okay? But we're gonna start off with this one. The conjugated diene, remember, conjugation means that it has alternating single and double bonds, so it has an over overlapping pi system, and HBr, which could be known as hydrogen bromide if it was a gas. It could be hydrobromic acid if it was in water. If it's hydrobromic acid, remember that's a strong acid and really exists as H pluses and Br minuses, which makes sense as to why H is the, excuse me, the best electrophile here, because it definitely ha has at least, if you draw it this way, the largest partial plus. And when we learned about this kind of reaction in uh, previous chapters, in the alkene chapter, we knew that any time you saw a pi bond, that was probably the nucleophile. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one as the nucleophile. It doesn't matter which double bond you start off with as the nucleophile. And I'm gonna use an orange marker here. I don't know if that's gonna be different enough, but nucleophile attacks the electrophile. And I have the, because H can't make two bonds around it, the bond that was between the H and the BR goes on to the BR, okay? And I get a cool product that looks like this, right? So I have BR hanging out with the minus, okay? And the real question is, where does the H add? Well, the H adds to the less sub substituted side because the plus, the carbocation, needs to form on the more substituted side. And for those of you who forgot what this is called, this is called Markovnikov addition. It's the exact same thing we did when we added something like HX in what we called a hydrohalogenation reaction to an alkene, exact same deal, okay? At this point, a plus is a pretty good, it's a pretty darn good electrophile, minus is a pretty darn good nucleophile, and you can have Br add right there. So in other words, one of these lone pairs is gonna attack that plus, and you get Br added. Okay, since you formed a chirality center or a stereogenic center or a, stereo, a stereo center or a chirality center, all of those mean basically you gotta consider stereoisomers, right? It means the, pretty much the same thing. Then for, since you formed a new chirality center there or chiral center is what I was taught, then you have to probably show the enantiomers that form. Or you at least need to designate that there's an enantiomeric mixture that forms. You guys see that? Oh, there you yeah, just barely. Okay. So you get a racemic mixture of those two in the midst of making this product. Okay? And this is awesome. Makes good sense. Makes good sense that you form the carbocation, the BR attacks, it's exactly like what you know. The thing that's interesting here is that this is only one of the intermediates that form. And these products that form 
are called the one to addition products or the kinetic products meaning that you use kinetic control to make this happen. Kinetic means that it happens faster. You form the intermediate, bam, it reacts, done. The interesting thing here is that there is a resonance structure that happens with this lovely intermediate. And that resonance structure takes my double bond and says even closer than the BR, is, are the pi electrons of that double bond. And if those react with the plus, then I get something like this, where the plus is on the end. And the double bond is moved in. And then I get a Br. Brs are hanging out in solution. And that minus wants to attack that plus, because this is the nucleophile. Here's the electrophile. Okay, and then you can get a product, pretty much one product here, right? That looks like this, with the BR at the end, okay? And the reason that works is because this resonance happens fairly quickly. Okay, and so then we can get attack at the end and we can make this uh, BR attach in a different way. Notice that I did not form a chirality center here. Okay, so no chirality center formed um, because there's two other H's here and to have a chirality center, you have to have four different things around that carbon. So I don't have to worry about enantiomers there. Okay, what's interesting here is that this is called the 1,4 product. or the 1,4 addition, because if you had count considered, uh, you would have numbered it like this, one, two, three, four. So the first thing that reacted, the first uh, pi bond that reacted, or the first alkene that reacted was between one and two. The H added to position number one, the carbocation formed on position number two, okay? Since the one, two addition is that that happened at those two spots. One four addition is that it happened, that you had the resonance happening. And if this was one, then this had to be four, position number four, because two and three are here. Okay. Then you get the one four addition. And what this is called is it's called the thermodynamic product. Okay, now why is that called the thermodynamic product? The reason for that is because this is the overall more stable product, okay? In other words, the double bond is more substituted. Uh, the BR has some conjugation, life is going well. There's some conjugation over there too, but really it's that the double bond is more stable. It ob obeys uh, Zaitsev's rule a little bit more. And so because of that, it's more substituted. It is lower energy overall. This product is lower energy overall than these are. And since they're lower energy overall, then if I drew an energy diagram, this 1,4 addition would be at a lower energy place than the 1,2 product would. Okay, which makes it really interesting to start thinking about what can I make fast kinetically versus what can I make that's more stable overall thermodynamically. And this is an ongoing and repeating issue that happens in organic chemistry quite a lot. So look for this in your future as well. All right, until I see you again, adieu.